What's going on YouTube? I'm Scotch. And I'm Sniff. And we're Scotch, Scotch and Sniff. And yeah! Here's a bottle. Okay. Here's some glasses. Everything in full disclosure, we did, this is a new segment. This is a new segment we're gonna bam, try. Bam, bam, bam. Near, near, near. So many Lasers. colors. So we decided we're gonna try this thing. We're gonna call it Uncorking. Because there's so many unboxing channels. And Why not an uncorking I find channel? myself kind of watching unboxing of things, which is weird. Really weird, because like the last unboxing I watched was actually for something that was a display model of that thing, so it didn't work. It was just the size and dimensions. Huh. And um, I watched the entire video like a dumb-dumb. That's dumb interesting. Dumb. Yeah. But some boxings are really, like some unboxing and some packaging is, is really nice, it's really so, well done. Yes, yes, it definitely is. But here, we're gonna do uncorkings, and these are like unboxings, but way better. Because we're actually gonna drink some whiskey. So, wouldn't unboxings be amazing if they drank whiskey? I noticed that the top of this is perforated. I should, full disclosure, uh, we were literally just sent this bottle by William Grant and Sons. It's Fistful of Bourbon. Um, William Grant and Sons, I guess they own a couple of places where they're getting bourbon from. So they're sourcing bourbon from five different distilleries. It's all uh, street bourbon whiskeys. So they're all at least two years old and they're taking them, they're doing their own proprietary blend, throwing it in a bottle that they're calling Fistful of Bourbon, but why didn't they make it like circular shapes so you could get a fist on it? Well, that would have been but really like, cool if they actually put hand grooves in it, and then actually- shh, if we tell them the oh, marketing right. secrets, then they're not gonna pay us. Right. Anyways, they're not they're paying not us pay for this, us they did just say, yeah. <laughs> this is a free bottle. Actually, it's funny because I'm excited about this bottle because MSRP is 22 bucks, but I was twice as excited because in the box they sent was popcorn, and it was really good popcorn. It was bourbon-infused popcorn. Ooh. Uh, and I ordered more because it's delicious. So, yeah. So. so this is definitely a play off of Fistful of Dollars, which is a spaghetti western with Clint Eastwood way back in the day. Um, if you're into that kind of thing, it's a, it's a cool movie to watch. I love spaghetti. It's a lo <laughs> and I love westerns. Actually, I don't like westerns. Well, um, we live in the western world, and it's spaghetti. There you go. Look at that connection. I love spaghetti. You know what I love more than spaghetti? Bourbon. Let's get the taste. Let's in. do it! Ooh. Let's never do that at same It's a Jinx, very you owe me a Coke. Does this come off? Does I bought you a whole six pack. Oh no, I bought you three bottles that yeah, one time. Yeah. It doesn't, that doesn't come off. That doesn't, let me pour It's a very satisfying sound. Ooh. Look, 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 yeah, that was look, a look, little heavy pour. Here, let me pour for you. No, I want to smell it. Oh. It smells better in a glass. <laughs> Probably. Couldn't really get a good nose in there. But people do that all the time, though. People stick their noses on the, and I'm like... I do it all the time. I know. It's just all right. Oh, okay. So, see what it said on top? Fistful of bourbon. Fistful of bourbon. So, I don't understand the fistful of dollars thing. Like, Yeah, I wonder what rich? the connection is. Is he rich? So, he has a fistful of dollars. Like, why would you have a fistful of dollars? Did you rob a bank? I don't understand. They, they were... Uh, I think this is the one that I watched, but they were robbing a, <clears throat> a stagecoach was robbed and um, Clint Eastwood, or well, Clint Eastwood is running this like um, trick where they're going into towns, him and another guy are like uh, playing it up where he uh, steals something, but then Clint Eastwood comes in and saves the day, saves the day, and then they pay him for a ransom because he goes into jail. And then right before the guy who goes into jail is gonna be hung, Clint Eastwood, uh, from like a really long oh, distance, like cuts shoots the, rope, the rope, shoots the rope, and then they do that from town to town to town, and they just keep making money. Oh, so it's a racket movie. It's a racket. It's a fistful of racket. Yeah, but then they hide a large <clears throat> portion of money in, um, in like a cemetery, and then near the end of the movie, there's like this showdown, and who can, who can get the money and Loyalty, it's it's interesting. It's Weird. Interesting. Yeah, if you're in Weird. Way. All right, so let's uh, let's give it a nose. Well, the color first, right off the bat, it's it's uh, gold. A brilliant golden Burn color. Burnished gold. Burnished with a little bit of like glistening ends. Interesting. Oh. All right, so I expected, this is probably with expectations, right? I expected bourbon, so I expected vanilla, caramel, and brown, but this um. It is, there are some green flavors. Yeah, seriously. Some green flavors that I don't think I've ever smelled with whiskey before. Because I'm getting a little bit of vegetal, but the problem is like it's mixed in with so many other things. This is actually like a really good mix of, I mean, that's a sign of a good blend, right? You're gonna get a bunch of different things that are coming together like an amalgam, but you want to uh, be able to pick them out, which is I guess what we'll try to do in a second. 
But on the nose, though, it's just a, it's like, a, it's a lot going on. It's a mishmash. It's very complex. There's a, there is a lot going on. Which is, should it be complex for 22 bucks? Not this complex. I, so right there, I think that's already a positive for it. For $22, this is, it's, it's already fun as far as like uh, the play on the spaghetti westerns. You already have kind of like a light mindset that this is yeah. going to be like kind of a jokey joke whiskey. But, but how many people spending 22 bucks are going to even expect to get a nose like this? 22 bucks, you're drinking, you're drinking. You're not nosing and sipping, you're drinking. Right. Or mixing, but this... If, this, if the palate is anything like this nose... This is going to be a good time. It's going to be it's going to be a <clears throat> journey. I don't know if it's going to be a good time yet. I can't determine that, but it's definitely going to be a journey because there is a lot going on. A lot of uh, kind of like dusty spices in the nose. The heavy vegetal flavor is, is a, a large smell that's coming over, kind of a wave. <laughs> okay. Here we go. It's more like a regular bourbon now. Um, regular bourbon notes, vanilla caramel, toffee. Um, mm. I am unfortunately getting a little bit of vegetal notes, so a little rye-ish. Um, not the kind of rye that I like, unfortunately, but like a little bit of like rye-ish notes, so I'm sure some people will love that. But I'm also getting, um, and I hate that it says it on the back of the bottle, but licorice, I'm actually getting a lot of, and I hate anise. <laughs> like, so, <laughs> but this is good, Minus, for me, minus the licorice. Otherwise, it's a solid bourbon. Wow, so I, I hate, yeah, I hate black licorice. Same. Um, but this has enough sweetness and to, not too much of that anise licorice flavor that... Um, it, it kind of balances it. Yeah. It's like peat. It's, it's actually, like Like, peat's not a good time by itself, but like when you add things to it to give it balance, it's it's okay. Yeah. But like this is the same thing. Like I would never just eat black licorice. Yeah. Like it's strawberry or death. Yeah. And like <laughs> this, it's doing it in such a way that like it's got plenty of other flavors to keep you interested and balanced to keep you from having to think, oh my god, black licorice. Yeah, for twenty two dollars, this is pretty nuts. Cause like twenty dollars is kind of complex, which is the funny. Uh, the baking spices uh, are really coming along really nicely. It, and it's not like the rye spice that, that Scotch was, or whisk, uh, Sniff was talking about. Wow, You're Scotch. I'm all over the place. You are all over um, the place. I think but then there's enough. like cause some cucumber that's coming out as well. Not necessarily. That's from this rye spice, and I don't like that. Yeah, not necessarily dill pickle, but like there's the nice subtle sweetness that's kind of like riding the train along. Uh, oh, the vegetal pretty. notes aren't too much, just maybe on the nose. So this is made by William Grant and Sons, and this is a Balvenie water dropper that I stole from Balvenie event. How appropriate. Oh, appropriate. So the lesson learned is if you steal a Balvenie water dropper from a Balvenie event, they'll send you a free bottle of bourbon? It means that it's kosher. It means that it's all in the same family. I don't get much of a change. I only added two drops. I only added two drops too, and it's pretty much, it's pretty much the same. Like it's like it's funny because the nose being a mishmash makes like this the level of complexity for this thing rise, which I don't. I'm surprised it's not just a mash of flavors that's difficult to yeah kind of like pick incoherent. Out. Instead, Everything this is like is a little bit like... of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this. Let's just put it together in a nice yeah. package, like a bento box, as opposed to it being just like a pot of stew. The water dials down some of the licorice, but my favorite thing the water does is it makes it smoother. That's right, who doesn't like a smooth bourbon? It brings out a little bit more of the like rye spice type notes, but- Just on the back end. It's, at at $22- That's the hard part to like reconcile with. It's like just it's 22 bucks. Just shut up and take my money. Cause like, really. A fistful of money? A fistful of money. $22, you gotta think, this is, uh, like 16 drinks, if you want to make it with a cocktail, um, or 20, 25 shots, if you want to have one ounce shots. Mm, that's one way to do it. This, like, it's, it's too good to be just shot though. That's the problem. It's well, not... I mean like sipped from a shooter. I, oh. When do I actually really? Uh, I don't know. You watch spaghetti westerns, you shoot guns from long distances to save your friend who's hanging from a rope. I have no idea. Yeah. I might be confusing you with Clint Eastwood or something, but. That'd be cool. Wow, that's wild. 
For kind of twenty two dollars. Cool. It actually doesn't make sense to me that it's only twenty two dollars and it's got this much going on. Yeah, where are they cutting the corners? Because it's not in this packaging, which is it's a baller. The, packaging. the design is really like, nice. It's fist, playful. It says fistful of bourbon on each side of like every side of this bottle, except for the bottom. It's not an ordinary just round bottle. The bottom just says fifty eight millimeters. I'm not joking, that's weird. But literally every other corner of this bottle says It says fifty eight millimeters? It does, it says fifty eight millimeters. 58 millimeters and 75 CO. I don't know what that means, but yeah, I don't know, yeah. probably maybe width of the bottle. I don't know. Yeah, 45% ABV. Like it's it's a good it's a good alcohol percentage that's not too hot. It's what a surprise. I like it. I like it. I am even with the licorice notes, without water, with water. Yeah. Wow. Definitely with water to kill some of the licorice. And even if it adds more of the rice spice to the back end, it's still good. Why buy bad whiskey when you can when you can buy this? That's a problem. But we'll see where this is in like five years, though. Because like, if they can keep this level of quality and consistency up for five years, ten years, cool. If they can't, though, because a lot of brands change over time, especially. Yeah, because whiskey then maybe, changes over time. Yeah, maybe we'll revisit this yeah. in time. Very but for cool. now, dang. Like, it's so funny because they sent us the bottle and uh, we have an agreement with a lot of brands that like, even if they send us something for free, because they're sending it free and they're not paying us, that we essentially negotiate being able to say whatever we want and which which makes for a lot of good trash talking for some brands but um there's nothing bad to say about this one it really just it goes to show like if it's good we're, we're not gonna lie to you yeah. if it's bad we're not gonna lie to you oh my so, gosh so yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, i'll never get it out of my mind way to go yeah no fantastic all right so um if you haven't tried this yet it's because it just got released on the East Coast. I don't know when we're going to release this video because I'm a dum-dum. But um, hopefully it's soon because this is just getting released on the East Coast um, this month. Uh, we're in like... Uh, October. October of 2019, 2020. It's COVID. <laughs> COVID has ruined my life. Like yeah. COVID's been happening for seven decades. And it I can't used to be July anymore. yesterday. Yeah. So anyways, this is getting released in the East Coast. So it's coming out. I think it's only like five or six states now, but it's getting released everywhere. And it's gonna be good. If you Man. see it at your liquor store, try it. Let us know what you think. Twenty-two for, bucks, like grab for it. less than a tank of gas for you know a couple loaves of bread and milk. You can't beat it. Where are you buying milk, man? Twenty dollars milk. <laughs> Could you imagine if milk tasted twenty dollars and we had to judge it that way? I'd be so mad. Milk like, at all twenty dollars because all you're getting is like, especially if it was like skim or two percent, I'd be pissed. Because that'd be like getting 40% whiskey on something that you know tastes good at 60%. Well, I mean, if you, if it's going to be milk, though, it's be whole if, milk. if it's like, you know, heritage milk or, or like single barrel milk. Whole milk is the full proof of milk. It is. <laughs> yes. It's got cream. It's got whey. It's got... Chocolate milk is the rye of milk. Is it? Yeah, it's like that other flavor category that also falls in a milk, but it's delicious. And then all of the like little like nut varieties, alternative milks would be different like Speyside, Isla. Nut milk, gross. <laughs> I wonder how small the nipples are on an almond. Tiny, oh, <laughs> did I not send you the meme? You did. Yes, yeah, it's got good size nipples. no, I sent you that meme. Oh, actually. did you send yeah. me? Oh, it's got good size nipples. Almond's yeah. got, almond is a respectable, you can get your hands on there. respectable little monster. No, 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 no. It would take a lot though <laughs> to milk all All right, almond. so like, Subscribe. comment. Subscribe. Let us know what you think about this bottle. Yeah. Let us know if there are any other $20 bottles that taste as good. I doubt it. I um, doubt it. I mean, mine is like mellow corn, but it's boring at 13. Irish whiskeys definitely would compete as far as like creaminess Ooh, and that like- that could be a good battle. Ooh, yeah. That could be a good but battle. But as far as bourbons, you're not gonna find another one Yeah, like that's kind of corny. Not right now. Yeah, so that's what's up. Like I'm gonna subscribe already said that. Uh, it's the end of this episode. Thank you so much for joining yeah. us. I hope you have a great day. Oh, take care. Thank you.